She's the cruelest of ways to lose a game. Brazil, well, what can you say? All conquering. I think Russia have beaten them in the last two years. Nobody else has come close. They've been top of the world rankings since October 2017. They do not look like they're moving anytime soon. And for the UAE, you think it's going to be difficult. And that's me being nice there. The last time they played, 2018, it finished up 9-1 to Brazil. Well, and Brazil won their first game. Anyway, when they played Switzerland, they managed to score nine. Sadly for them, they conceded ten. They can certainly score defensively. And I think a little bit of the athleticism compared to some of the European and South American teams just lacks a little bit. A team, average height is a couple of inches shorter than South Americans and was much shorter than Switzerland when he played them two nights ago. It's the physicality that is the difference. Well, it's Brazil to kick off, and when he did kick off against Morocco, they scored their inside three seconds. Let's see what happens right now. It's going to take slightly longer if it does happen. Oh, keepers out really well there. Bari, if he gets injured, don't worry. There's another Bari on the bench, his brother, to play in goal. Two sets of brothers in the UAE national team. And very easy to spot as well. Two outfield brothers look almost exactly alike. It's unusual in beach soccer to have brothers playing. Russia have had it in the past. Portugal and Martins brothers won the World Cup with a team also. So Brazil just feeling their way around the sand. UAE playing reasonably high pressure. They're not going to sit back. They're closing the Brazilian players early. I'm sure they've See what happened against Morocco. Second shot on target, Bari's behind it. Almost a volleyball like save. Ahmed to Walid. Walid, no risk, goes backwards. Walid B waits on the far side, asks for it and gets it. Well, they're playing two and two in terms of their formation at the moment, the UAE. And that's brave. Two forward, two back, if you're not sure. It's pretty simple to beat soccer. Oh, there's only five player players on the sand at any one time. One of them obviously stays in goal, usually. It's not unusual for goal keepers to score. He beat soccer and now he's in goal for Brazil. Did score against the UAE the last time he played. Actually, he scored a couple in a game. It's pretty lethal. Latinia. Well, I didn't think there was any knock really there on Rodrigo. Made it look like something because I think he committed a foul. The chain is on for Brazil and the UAE eventually. It's Rodrigo there. It's there, there. It takes a knock to the hip, which obviously isn't that painful. And then grabs his neck. Barry, the goalkeeper, and Walid really did clash there. You could see the almost the whiplash effect on both their necks. And see, it did hurt. They're still down now. I think he'll probably drop the ball from this position. Well, for the UAE, this has been their most successful year, and it's under an Emirati coach. Zari, he's been finished for three years, he went straight from playing into the management side, into the coaching side, and he's done really well with the team, but he's had some mentors in his time, Gilberto, Marcelo Mendes, godfather of beach soccer in the UAE, and he's also played in a World Cup himself, so he knows about the top level, and the UAE have stepped up to the top table in beach soccer, it's themselves, Iran, Japan, are the three teams that Everybody tries to beat in Asia. Oh man, and nipping at their heels, just behind. Not really a beach soccer program here in Qatar. They have tried it in the past with a, guess what, Brazilian staff. Just didn't really take off. So it's time to push that once again because the UAE approved you can get success very quickly. It's one of the tiny nations that play this sport, Tahiti in the world's top 10. Just overhead of the day. We had no overhead kick goals the other night. We're due one. And Brazil play. We're definitely due one. Early shot, and there's the finish. Well, 
Defensive mistake, and it's fully capitalised on Rafinha. He scored previously against the UAE last year, and he continues that run right now. Just got his toe to the ball. Goalkeeper couldn't close his legs quick enough. Into the back of the net. That's the opportunistic side of Brazil that goes alongside their skill. They don't give up. They harry defenders. And not every goal they score is spectacular or pretty, but they are certainly effective. Brazil won, UAE nil. Well, it, it's not a bad effort, is it? Just wide. Now forward. Martinia. Mao. 42 now. Apparently, he does talk about retiring every season, and then, nah, I quite enjoy it, I'll carry on. It's a goal scorer. Martinia. Yet again, only back to his goalkeeper, who, as you mentioned, is a bit of a goal scorer as well. Not a good ball out, though. They get away with it, Brazil. Martinia. Well, I think the knock there is more to do with a divot in the sand than anything else. He's calling for the referee. Saying, why don't you go off? It's the knee nudge, isn't it? In the side of the leg, I think that gives you a bit of a dead leg. So I think you could run off in the playground. I think I spent half my school career with a dead leg. Barry, as a professional, knows it's a serious injury. A bit too much on that throw, really. Gonna track it all the way back. Drifts harmlessly over his bar. They're not quite going forward. Look how far forward the two wide players are. The goalkeeper goes. Well, it does open over so slightly when you do take your players like a bass wide. Opens up that gap in the middle. Brazil stay fairly. Solid in their shape defensively. You want to be inside of the post, the two defenders, to give the goalkeeper almost less of a goal to have to work in. Philippe. Now, always looks to go with the feet, always. Stand along the floor, not ideally beat Shark. Hat trick score the other night. Racino. Antonio. He just goes for the old slow, slow, quick. And well, he's been dispossessed. That's poor play. Bass, going for the full-on dribble on the sandwich is difficult, as he's just found out. Goalkeeper's out. Easy for Barry. Well, you have set the stall out. It's high pressure. Wide players in the defensive position, but they're there to receive the ball. And the two strikers are staying wide as well. I want to attack inside the post when they have to. Very attacking lineup. Brave and it's working. Get possession for the last few phases of play. So it's just been knocked out there. Looking at Saved by the keeper. He takes the knock on the post. well because he took a horrible little bounce on the sand just gets that push with two hands he's just strained himself he's gone down there it wasn't very orthodox beautiful guitar sunset over the park on the far side here at the a and World Beach Games 14 events going on we've got kite surfing we've got beach tennis we've got beach karate and we've got basketball don't worry, they don't try and bounce it on the sand. It's on a court next to the beach, OK? It's those sports that are influenced by the beach, as is skateboarding. Because when you see the skate parks in America, as you romanticise about them, you imagine them right next to the beach. Well, genetically, we've all first got an exact replacement if it's rule that comes on. It's some kind of damage to his hand. It's his face, actually. Just looking to see what you can't see. Video on the way, I'm behind the goal here. He's 
Find his face in the ground. Yeah, nose actually. There's the Dows, as they are known here. The traditional vessel. Realistically, now just used for tourists. It was originally, as most of the countries around here, a pearl diving area. Then they discovered oil. Then they weren't too interested in diving after oysters. Qatar is more about gas. It's definitely about sport nowadays. World Athletics Championships were here just a week or so ago. You know what's coming in 2022. And this event here has been organised in four months. And going successfully so far. Not too many people here at the moment, but bear in mind, Sunday is a work day in Qatar. Come out. Not sure you knew too much about that. So second quarter conceded. Yep. Five seconds to take the corner. E Purple was probably too much near his near post there, gets away with it as he tries to scoop it away. Again, it's recently high pressure from UAE. Guinea, he just found that gap, side footed in with his left. And you get a feeling now, once they start opening up a bit of a gap. It's going to be more and more difficult for their opponents to bridge it. That man's played in three World Cups, about to enter his fourth, and again, his goal scoring boots on, for want of a better phrase, for beach soccer. I thought we could do with a better phrase than shooting boots for beach soccer. If you can think of one, let me know. Hashtag AWBG2019. So Walid and Walid will kick off. Many different spellings of Arabic names. Ali with the shot, not too many spellings of that name. Chance for Brazil again. Barry does well. He's sat down. Still aware enough to recover. Walid B, Bari. Walid is on the right, but he goes for the left. Walid. Where's Walid? Oh, left hand side, clips the post. Got something about them, the UAE. Definitely more than Morocco did against Brazil two nights ago. Morocco psychologically still recovering from that one. You see that UAE shot once again. About the inches in sport, and that just proves that adage is true. Yeah, he can't keep it in. Maybe should have gone with his left foot for control rather than the right. Kenya, goal scorer today. Trying to play it out of the sand on the floor. It's not that successful a tactic. It means you have got possession. I'll explain more on that in a second. And differences between here and when we tend to play in Europe. The pitches are very different. Sounds silly, but it's true. I'll explain in a second. Oh, the goal scorer tries to add to his total. Rafini can't do it though. The bobble saves the goalkeeper there. Ferrari waits, Ali's on his right. He's back to his captain. Decent effort, a decent, effort, a decent move. Walid, shot ends up in the side netting. So when we watch now Mao on the ball, he's finding it difficult to kind of flick it about the sand. He only squashes it in and then plays it. Coutinho. And that's because it's not that deep the sand. Oh, look, it's a lot deeper. America. Walid, got to get it away. Barry in the end, scoops it up. Ali now. Well, it was two on two for a second, but Brazil back in numbers. Back in the line of four defensively. Catalino gets the oldest injury in beach soccer. Sand in the eyes. And the ball to boot. 
Pitch here is quite hard compared to Europe. It's not as deep as sand. It's how to describe it. The sand in the, sand in the desert near to the coast is very compact. So they have to dig it up a little bit, but they can't do it to the same extent as they would do in Europe. So what she's done well to not have a tan in this weather. I need some of that sun factor cream. So when the sand is in as deep as the players are used to, they can't squash it into the sand and flick it up. It's more difficult. I think Mao is finding that, hence he's kicking it off the floor. I think that's an overly long explanation from me, but you get a gist of why it will be slightly different here. Why we'll get more beach soccer played on the sand and why we're getting less overhead kicks than we normally do. Ali. And take a throw or a kick in beach soccer, he goes for the throw. Looked like a foul one to me, he lifted his foot off the floor. It's away with it, and Brazil gets away with that. Rodrigo, there's the overhead. Ali. Ahmed to Ali, Ali with a shot. Or did it take a deflection for the corner? Certainly did. Good move by the UAE, one ends the other very quickly after they dealt with that overhead kick. A chance earlier on. Oh, I'm going to play with a player too much, you hit him rather than him trying to hit the ball. That's a very good chance. Bari now. He's trying to flick it up and push it, does it out to the right hand side. Overhead kick, he's blocked. Rafinha to the other goal scorer, Rafinha. Well, they win Brazil pretty much through. They've got Switzerland to play. It goes head to head in beach soccer in terms of the group placings. Then it goes to goal difference. So the Switzerland Brazil game, whatever happens, will decide it. Both teams have won. And the goal difference won't matter because they'll play each other. Philippe. Chino, hat trick for him the other night. Chino, really well done, good save. But he's done well again. I believe it was with the shot. I have to say that every shot Brazil have had and the goalkeeper saved, they're not decrying anything he's done apart from the one down to his left before. He managed to put the ball straight at the keeper each time. He's had to be brave, but he made it relatively simple for him. That's for Brazil now. Three on two for one second. Abbas cuts it out. Uh, Shouldn't have tried to dribble on the sand. He now is in defensive mode. And Bari, again, he's straight at him. And he's taken a, a knock to, well, how do we say this in? The midriff. Both the midriffs. Interesting technique. Trying to enjoy themselves. Wonderful thing about this World Beach Games is there's just so many expats in Qatar. Most of the population is expat, so whatever country is playing, including Cape Verde, you will get fans. Okay, Plenty of them. Kenya. Oh, foul, knock in the face. Come out. One of the few UAE players to play beach soccer in Europe. Honestly, really one of the few UAE footballers of any sort to play any sport in Europe. This UAE team, five of them, policemen. 
including their coach, who is former SWAT, apparently. Special weapons and tactical. Our PE instructor with the police, as well as, of course, taking the beach soccer team to the World Cup in Paraguay. Last World Cup they played in was their best performance. They ended up losing to Portugal, who were former World Cup winners, of course, which is absolutely no disgrace whatsoever. Consistently pushed with qualifying. And we're just inches away, or a few kicks away. As they lost on a penalty shootout to win in the Asian Championships this year. That was in March in Pattaya, in Thailand. Now Kamal has made his way halfway off the pitch. Okay, well, realistically, if you've taken a knock to the face, just take yourself off, get your treatment there, get the flow of the game going. It's not that important when you take a free kick. New to beach soccer, by the way. Let me give you a quick rundown of the rules. This free kick now is unopposed and direct. All free kicks are and must be taken by the player who's fouled. And we played three periods of 12 minutes. We've got one minute seven left in this period. Kamal. Damn squib after waiting so long. Maybe I'll just confirm that. He did trouble the cameraman behind the goal. He'll also see 36 minutes of play but that's about an hour of the game as they a few stoppages as we go through okay, it time left now we got 42 seconds and we're still still off with two goals and you ain't got it none you can throw and kick the ball in as well the goalkeeper feels like a shot we average about nine goals a game and a shot around about every minute unless Maricino thinks about it well, he just wasn't really set, he wasn't convinced, he was easy, he went up for that. The player scored a hat-trick. He was full of confidence against Morocco. No overhead kicks in that game. No shortage of showboating in his play. So there we have it, end of the first period. It is Brazil 2, United Arab Emirates 0. Champions way back 14 years ago. 
Jesus has his body, the Purple and Cabana. Do we have fans from the Purple and Cabana? Or anyone who has been to the Purple and Cabana? You been there? Are Brazilian fans in the building? Second period about to begin here at the Adnock World Beach Games. As you would expect, Brazil leading. Currently Brazil 2, UAE 0. Didn't tell a full story. I've had a few decent chances to the UAE. One in particular, they managed to scoop over the bar from literally a meter or two out. Well, that is the difference. Brazil, when they played Morocco a couple of nights ago, they scored with half the shots they had. 50% strike rate. Ahmed as well. So the we were just line to mount. With the beach soccer knowledge of Brazil. So a throw in. The correct answer was. Right, Kareem will take it. Again, it's a great finish. Well, from nowhere, and that's the simplest of goals at the far post. I have a funny feeling Ali Kareem may have uh, missed a foul throw as he took it. Uh, his foot's off the one floor, it is, but it's not given. Two, well, he doesn't care, finds the back of the net. Captain leading my example. 17 seconds into the period. That's exactly what the UAE wanted. Brazil 2, United Arab Emirates 1. Oh dear, well, from the kickoff, as often happens, Goalkeeper, a little bit weak. Well, he got his hand to it, but it ends up in the back of the net. And that's poor defensively. The two defenders completely split there. Easy for Philippe to just find the gap. This his first tonight, his second against the UAE overall. So the advantage nulled. It's Brazil 3, UAE 1. Now, oh, well, that's a disaster by the goalkeeper. Well, complete lapse in concentration. The volley's in, straight to the goalkeeper. He's covered his goal perfectly well, but then he forgets how to use his hands. Walid, second goal for him in this period. We're not even a minute in. So the gap is now one goal. We could go on like this for a while, couldn't we? Brazil three, United Arab Emirates two. Martinho. Ali cuts it out. Ali Karam. Tries a shot from realistic distance really actually not running onto the ball that's for brazil tanya just wide well he just taken a knock tanya has a shot just into the side Fizio is on Return. Are you ready, Captain? That shot go wide. He's hurt himself going into the sand. If you look there, he's actually throwing himself at the ball. I think, like I mentioned before, about the sand being fairly thin on top in terms of its softness. You can't hurt yourself quite easily here. There's the evidence. Congratulations, offside his coach. Two goals against Brazil, no me, Pete. Ali, out to the stadium. Most of the skate park behind us here. Rodrigo. Been 
there, done it. It's over World Cup winner. Mao, what a save that is. Well, Mao needs to make up for that mistake earlier on. And he almost did it there. And that's an even better save when you look at the replay. He was so unsighted there. Barry got down. His right hand side proving why he won most valuable player at the Asian Championships this year. Most valuable goalkeeper, that is. And the Brazilians, Barry is his nickname, not his actual real name. Continue and a goalkeeper clash. Well, this is becoming a war of attrition between the two teams. I don't think that was worth the yellow. Did you react afterwards? Well, that's very, very harsh. Torino does question the officials. Roberto, the coach, is shaking his head as well. I don't blame him because. There's a clash between two players going for the ball. How can you see there was anything untoward there? Well, he's having a good game today. Despite the knocks, which makes him seem more heroic if you goalkeeper. Only managed in about a minute and a half so far. He's been going for about 10 minutes. Well, he gets the free kick. So the decision is to be made here. Or do you go for power? Do you try and roll it either side so one of your teammates gets on the end of it? Or do you try and bounce it in front of the goalkeeper, maybe two, three meters out, ideally, to see if it can beat Mao? Well, there's the bounce, but you need it to bounce once, and it needs to be two or three metres from the keeper. It's going to do any kind of damage whatsoever. Continue. Slightly lethargic here, Brazil. Traditionally in beach soccer, the second period is the lull period. It's almost like basketball, where you wait for the final quarter before things really pick up. It can be the case in beach soccer. Good shots. I think it's the divot that saves the goalkeeper rather than his hand. When it comes to game management, Brazil Masters. And those divots can take the ball either in or why is it did that? A saviour or a curse, in that case a saviour. Party. Oh, it's gone in again! Well! The goalkeeper looks to blame everybody but himself. At the other end, that goalkeeper is receiving the congratulations from everybody. He's complaining about the player being in front of him. But as a goalkeeper, one step, two steps backwards, give yourself that little bit of space away from the player. He should be doing. Completely lost sight of the ball. Playing in front of him took his attention. He knows that's a mistake. Now will not be happy. Definitely that scoreline. Brazil three, United Arab Emirates three. Chance for four. Couldn't keep the ball under control. B. He does defensive duties to the back. Brazil freshen things up. With an entire changeover of outfield players. They do that in beach soccer just to keep the intensity up. Try and increase the intensity in this case because it's not going Brazil's way. Cal, this time on the sand for him today. World Cup winner. Badly worked corner. Antonio's shot though is well wide. This is getting intriguing this game. Ahmed gets the turn. Just can't. Get a shot away. Cal controls things. That's the ball. Go back to his goalkeeper. Coutinho. Throw. It's 
plenty to talk about here. Cow, good save, buddy, again. Cow. And they're not going forward now in numbers, the UAE look. Three back, one forward. Three different tactics set from the first period. Still with the old slow, slow, and up for the quick. Bonus heart, Mao. That's Chino. Antonio. Not effort, but UAE defending very tight in and around the goal. Kamal just controls it. Brazil with a chance, Barty with the save. Well, the UAE, there's one player after another who's willing to throw his body on the line. And again, it's the goalkeeper that time. Antonio. Cal. Looks out to his left side. Just quickly, just couldn't find that ball's width to get the shot away. Antonio. Cal. Ali. Started out by three yellow shirts. Decent effort, isn't it? Skims the bar from Akinia. The UAE players are very, very tired in it. Watch that save again for Bali. They're not going for these wholesale changes at the moment. As you watch the replays, there's only one player switch for the UAE. Can they keep this intensity up with defence? Tanya, Mikal. It's for the UAE. Well, it's just almost too much thinking time for Ahmed. To drop down, Bari. Ali, it's a roll past his body. And he controls it. Now the overhead. So rare in this tournament, the overhead kicks. Again, as we mentioned before, the depth of the sand makes all the difference on those. Sometimes it becomes your only option when you can't get through the sand. Ali. He's a bit disappointed when you go back to your goalkeeper, especially with a poor pass like that. You need to do central so we can choose which side he goes. Mao. Marcinho. Well, he's slightly closer with that overhead kick. He's getting his eye in. He wants the thunderbolt in the back of the net rather than on his side of his head. Whether that will happen. And we'll tell Antonio forward. Walid Ah. Plenty of volleys here. Now, disappointing display for the veteran keeper. 41 now. I guess that age when every mistake is blamed on your age rather than just being a mistake. Made two clangers today. Now, Cal. Oh, Lukao just couldn't get the touch he needed there. Almost a defensive touch. The intensity of play from the UAE players now, I get a feeling starting to tell them. The one thing they're not doing... Just to replay that. Speculative effort. Why? You look at the number of UAE players in and around there, all defending. And that is just a muscle injury there from running. Taking a kick. That could be. And what the UAE haven't got, or maybe the coach, Jari, isn't doing. The point is rotating four players on or three players on at a time. They're not able to give it that freshness. Watch a lot of teams like Brazil, they'll throw four players on, four players off, and then the intensity just stay, remains the same. Less mistakes are made because you've got fresher players on the sand. You have to trust your entire squad can do a job. But obviously, if you're Brazilian, you 
you could almost rock up to the co cricket by the beach, pick five people that up, and they could play beach soccer. Different in other countries. Ali. At the moment, no. To go over 100 million. He's being held by a country of just six. Ahmed. Any local players to pick from in these Gulf states, the kind of population is slightly meaningless because it's the local population. For example, Dubai is 90% expats. Rafa Padilla is on in goal. He had a very good game when he played against Morocco the other night. Did have a little bit of work to do despite the scoreline being 9-1. In fact, it's because of him it was 9-1. Not 9, 3 or 4. Abbas confidently waits for his goalkeeper. Walid. The trade, he said, that's a little bit naughty, a bit late. Rodrigo, there's the old Chesnov apologising straight after, helping the player up, looking completely innocent. Tell how confident a player is by how long they spend setting up the ball before they kick it. Not ideal here because you've got to cross the tape, which staggers the run. It's the speed of the ball. It's not always there. Well, there was plenty of speed in that one, but no direction. Ideally, on that side, you want a left footer with the free kick, but you don't get a choice in beach soccer. Power player must take it. Shoulder for somebody to pass to is not there, so he opens it out, faces the play. Well, there. Sam took the out of the ball. Bass. Bass waits again. Tucks inside. Loses possession. Rodrigo. Slows it up ever so slightly. Continue. Defensive header by a man who scored two goals in this period. His defensive duties very well. Walid. Walid closes now. Shot is blocked. Back to his goalkeeper, Rafa Padilla. In addition to the squad, he was very good. And now he's looking over his shoulder. It's poor performances in like he has in this period. <laughs> Shot is wide. I think the touch was on a divot of sand rather than a goalkeeper. He was booked earlier on. I think he wants a yellow card to be issued in the opposite direction. You may have learned quickly. Off your hand. Say sorry. Let's watch again. He's caught him, yeah. I think that could be a foul. In the area. Skims the ball, doesn't he, just before. There's a corner to Brazil. Coward ahead of Bali with the save. Excellent again. Taking a risk here. Get away with it, Ali. Turns, doesn't look, though, so the ball is... Goes across to the other side and, and slows down the move, and now it's a foul on Ahmed. Ficao. But the referee here, he's very quick to issue the Brazilian players with yellow cards. <laughs> okay, when we see the replay of this, is it worthy of a yellow? Well, the answer to that is no. He's got the ball first. Second yellow card had been issued. Both of them unnecessary, I would say. Doesn't sound much at this stage of the tournament, but you get two yellow cards, you're out of the next game. So once the group stages are finished, 
one more game after this, and then you've got your semis and your final. Two yellow cards that aren't worthy. They're issued, it's not really fair, but there is no uh, committee here, FIFA committee, to review decisions. Just people like me. Now that man there, played for Brazil for many, many years, Bruno Malia. Helping out the UAE, he's also helped out the Hungarian national team. He told me yesterday he's going to finish after the World Cup and then look into going to politics in Brazil. Good luck with that. Corinthians fan there, if I'm not mistaken. Brazilian, of course. Again, he has to cross the tape, which isn't ideal. He's in a good position here. With the range where you can just strike it as a goal rather than try and bounce it in front of the goalkeeper. Bass. It's a good effort and a good save. Uh, Padilla did really well there. Was like two, two, three steps forward, closed down that angle. He goes jump forward, so he's ready to. Power off the ground as the ball's hit. Really good goalkeeping, that. Very technical goalkeeper. Very difficult skill to do. Here you go deep with the corner. Once again, no one arriving at the far post, though. Staking his claim, isn't he? You'll say Mao when he's played eight World Cups. He's Brazil's number one for so, so long, he should remain after the World Cup, and he should. And he's wobbling like he has. Bill has been excellent the two games he's played. It's not going to be a big difference. Well, there's the finish. It's more about blocking the goalkeeper's view than anything else. Well, I'll give that one almost realistically to Wally. Because he just stood in front of the goalkeeper. The shot was from distance. You can see completely unsighted there, the goalkeeper Abbas, who took the free kick. Almost a similar position this time, just bounces it along the sand. You can see the captain in front of the goalkeeper there, unsights him. We have a shock on the cards. Brazil three, UAE four. I can barely believe I'm saying that. When you saw Brazil play against Morocco, it just looked sensational. It looked like it was just so easy. UAE, really hard fought game against Switzerland where they were leading for so, so long. 9 8 with a minute or so to go. And they lose 10 9. You think that takes the wind out of his sails, but no. Save. Very good save. So goalkeeper got plenty of spring. Oh, he's excelled today. That's the year waits. The foul is given. Gilberto, he plans for many, many things. They're very, very thorough coach. I'm sure he planned for this. In best Brazil. The only beach soccer team in the world that invested in sports code, which gives you live analysis and statistics of the players. Did that just before the last World Cup. No stories on turn. Huge entourage, fitness trainers, doctors, physios, everything is covered for the Brazil national team. They take their beach soccer very, very seriously. Kenya takes his beach soccer seriously, hence three World Cups. Great position for him, very, very central. Well, he takes a few steps forward, then a few back. His decision on what he will do, holds his ground. There's the strike and a finish. Well, realistically, he was never in doubt. Goalkeeper looked pensive, and rightly so. Tried to spread himself. Guinea, though, picked his spots. Rippled in that side netting. You see, he's just staring exactly at that side netting. It was going nowhere else. Just think about the level of confidence, because you are playing, of course, in your bare feet. Off his power in the celebration. Brazil four, United Arab Emirates four. UAE straight back on the attack. 
will he be? That's a penalty. Interesting again. My position is right by that, and I wasn't 100% convinced. This referee seems to be convinced by everything the UAE do. Have a look. Oh. Well, that is unbelievable. Bear in mind, you got two beach soccer referees, one each side. There's the one on the far side, away from the hip. Call that. Saved by Padilla. A little free kick given. It's getting a little bit bad tempered this game. The goalkeeper, a little cliche is a nice height for the keeper. Certainly was. He's happy with that. I get a feeling this is the difference between teams like the UAE and Brazil is this ability to work under pressure. The penalty there needed to be scored. And they failed. At the other end, just before, Rafinha needed to score with that free kick. He was not nervous at all. Hit it as hard as he possibly could. Strike, good save by the goalkeeper yet again. Antonio head away, it's the last touch of the period. Well, no one expected this. There's a few Brazilians that are happy, but they're on the UAE staff. Barry save again. Into the second period. All square. Brazil four. United Arab Emirates four.
Final period about to get underway. If you're not familiar with beach soccer, then they toss the coin for the final kickoff. As it is a game of three periods rather than two halves. So the UAE have won the toss and will kick off. Remember the beach soccer diminishing rewards if it is a draw at the end of this period. It remains the same as scoreline, unlikely, but if it did, we then go to extra time. It would only be worth two points, and then penalty shootout, which is worth one point if you win. Three points can only be won in normal time in beach soccer. But there is no draws. Well, first time on the sand. Rodrigo Suta. Right. There's a child. Oh, well, that should have been buried. Atania is scored yesterday. He can't add to that total today. The goalkeeper was all over the place as he scrambled across his goal. It's almost like a, a beach volleyball return to the yellow shirt. It was rifled right over the bar. Ali. Ali. Jingle Suter there, he's a late replacement in this squad. You see him on the ball now. Plays Bruno Xavier, the captain, who scored 166 goals for Brazil, who's out and out of the World Cup. He was World Player of the Year a few years ago. Big miss for Brazil. Sadly with him now, it didn't look like that on the first day. At the moment, look, he is a miss. Look at that. Of course, a foul. Suter. Just nudges to the back of his opponent. Kind of knew, didn't he, as soon as he did it. You are going to give away a free kick. It's the kind of distance you want to give it away from goal. But the central position is not ideal. Same as obviously a number by scooping it away. Each volleyball star was on the attack now. And there is the finish, one end to the other. So, so quick. Rodrigo with the same place of finishes. Into the center of the goal. Well, things looking back to normal, shall I say? I hesitated for a second, but. More normal for Brazil. That's what you want to beat Socks, just you get the break on. Quickly, attack, and then tap between the posts, and you'll score. Brazil five, United Arab Emirates four. The way the UAE have played here, they will not give up. Mentality is not that. I hate to say it though, what they are is nearly men. Runners up in the Asian Championship on penalties to Japan, and losing 10-9 to Switzerland on the first night here. A little bit of nerve at the end of the day, is what they don't have. What they do have is a new player on it. Sand, he's not appeared before, Hassan, you can see there, central, number seven. Again, probably gives you another indication they don't have the strength in depth. They can't just play those rotating subs of four off, four off to really change things and really increase the intensity. They're not willing to do that. It's a bad effort. It's the divot that saves the day for Brazil. Shim, strike and anger from him. Again, wait wait the final period for him to come on. A long time. Tato, no sweat on his shirt. Again, this referee get ultra fussy, made some poor decisions. There with two of the UAE players about their attitude. 
Too much by the referee and Brazil can. The cow looks for the penalty, which is not given. Continue. Well, it was the right idea, wrong execution. Trying to get it across the box is perfect, but it's just far too much on it. Class. Very strong player, looks very dangerous in front of goal. Playing in that central striker's position you can see right now on the far right of the screen. Daniel waits. Padilla though decides to go. Puts the ball in the air. Patrino makes control but manages to get the ball down that right hand side. Patrino with the shot. Well, the fade was in to out rather than out to in. So they are fourth overhead kick of the day. Continue there was almost tackling himself. It's the ball away. Trino. The cow. Doesn't drop for him, chance for the UAE. Oh, keeper lets it through his legs, but the sand saved him. He took it over the pace out of the ball. He beats a sigh of relief, and just has him cursing his luck. Cow. Oh, clips the post from distance. Well, before we had the fade to go from in to out, now it was. Out to in, just quite, not quite enough fade on it though, just to take it inside of the post. As we say in sport, the difference between success and failure is inches. Kamal, oh, okay, good block. Come on, everybody, for the film any given Sunday, isn't it, with Al Pacino when he talks about inches in sport being the difference between success and failure. They've got to fight for the inches, etc. Well, the UAE are fighting for those right now. Many inches near to the keeper then. Yeah, Ali could head it away. Oh, he's oh, looking oh, frustrated. Oh, not happy with what's going on at the moment. Do you blame him? This is not the Brazil we know and love. What we do have though, and this is an interesting tale of two backroom staffs. They have two Brazilians on the backroom staff. The former assistant coach was Gilberto, the now current Brazilian coach. If there's any country in the world that knows how Brazil play and know their secrets and know what they do and know how to play against them, it's the UAE. Here's the chance for them. That's a good save by Padilla. Almost with his face. Yep, it was. Just counting his teeth there. Yep, it's all still in. Good looking fella. Still intact. And I'll tell how important that is to him in a second if the physio brings a mirror on. You know, it's very important to him. It's a good save. Well, he didn't bring a mirror on. Just some water. And he's recovered. Just wide. As mentioned, they do know what Brazil do. They played them last year as well. They got absolutely hammered last year, 9-1. That was in Dubai. Different story now, but you've got a team who brought in a few new players. 
Play with confidence, qualified for the World Cup. Ali. Jamal. I'd say the only thing they lack, really, the UAE compared to Brazil's size. Once again, skimmed off the sand. Okay, once again, the his left is wide. Just the overhead kick again. Sixth has been in this game. This is a low, low number. You see across the tournament, the sand is not that deep. Which encourages you know, deep sand encourages overhead kicks. Flattish like it is here then encourages you to play on the sand. Goalkeeper went for it because it was the deflection, which means they can see the corner of the UAE. Just holding on for a second. Come out. Okay. In the mid-drift. Play replace on beach soccer in Europe. These leagues are just such a mishmash in the summer, and they like to Poland, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Russia, the biggest league in the world in terms of club beach soccer. There's always opportunities for players to go and play because you play for one, two tournaments and back home it's not like playing for months on end. Proper marking going on there. And it works. Urged the corner, no one arriving in the box, though. So that's the difference. Brazil are not willing to commit forward. No one has ever said that sentence about Brazil. I've been soccer before. Managed to get a chance from nowhere there. Yes, it's behind it. Bari. Best goalkeeper I've seen in the tournament so far. Interesting technique. Brazil, two against one, three against two for a second. Interesting defensive. Good save. Adela did really well there. Rodrigo, Golly B. Does the referee know he's not particularly happy with that decision? It's going to be the first yellow, he needs to be quiet. But he's not careful. Easily turn into red. And he's suspended next game. Save from Barry. Rodrigo with the overhead. Well, wow, it was very low to the ground. He's been fantastic, hasn't he? Well, it's the spray instead of the water, so it must be serious. It's the rules of beach soccer. Again, I can see why he's upset. Some very, very strange yellow cards in this game. Oh, what's he got off his sleeve, Zari? Barcelona fan. Maybe he's seen some tricks from that team they could use right now. A successful coach in UAE history. Got a Brazilian, the Uruguayan. Now they go homegrown. Some support from Brazil. Victor Vasquez, the goalkeeping coach, and then Bruno Malia, his consultant with the team. Rodrigo steps up, right foot, just wide. Was a touch, certainly was, a good save again. Oh, it's a lot better than I thought. Roberto quite, quite believe it. They Clear the ball. Well inside of the final three minutes. That is a long time in beach soccer. And one goal difference between the two teams is nothing in beach soccer. At this point, yesterday the UAE were winning in their game against Switzerland. They went on to lose. Again, as it does sometimes, the players are tired, a little bit bitty towards the end. Cotterino.
test. You can observe yourself the way they set themselves for the run up, the way they set the ball shows how nervous they are, and also where they're likely to score. Slightly more nervous than usual. There's a strike. Good save. Give one orthodox. I enjoy that. I enjoy it. He meant it, but he enjoyed it. I need to see that again. A little bit of a second, but he takes the control with the chest rather than using the hands. Oh dear. Oh. Well, so disappointing when you put up such a performance that you can see like that. Disaster for the UAE. Mix up between goalkeeper and defender. Fred just plays it back. Maybe he should have played it back first time with his right. Goes to his left, and that takes him wide of the goalkeeper. Leaves Barry scrambling. He gets there, but not until it's crossed the line. It's Bruno Malia there. Home Brazilian player. Encouraging the teams that have picked themselves up. Brazil six, United Arab Emirates four. Well, the cameraman there, has to be quick. A big woo from the crowd. So about two minutes, hard fought, I think, is how it will be described, this Brazilian victory. Gio. Got to be, oh, get Barry gets there, but he eventually makes its way into the goal. Well, Luck has completely deserted the UAE, and he certainly smiled upon Brazil in the last couple of minutes. As Brazil goes, these are sheepish celebrations. They know they've had a lot of luck here. And here's some more. There you go. It looks like it was saved by Barty. He got across so so well, and then when he touched it, his arm was behind him. And when that happens, you can see that you're not in a strong position to push it around the post. And he loves that. Why wouldn't you? Goal is a goal at the end of the day when you strike it. Until seven. United Arab Emirates four. It realize what people see, but it doesn't tell a story. He can take his free kick. So he's scratching his face, wondering why it's been so difficult for Brazil today. Good even shot. Well wide. Again with the left, just can't get it away. Second attempt. Villa. Coutinho. Rodrigo. Final 45 seconds, we get consolation for the UAE. Well, here we do. Looks likely it'll come from this free kick. We're going to get between this and the penalty. The handball is confirmed. Time it was handball. The only difference between this and the penalty is the fact the goalkeeper can make his way off his line. Exactly the same. Got a chance for a hat trick. Could be a bad consolation. There's the 
finish. Very confidently done. It's going to be case we grab that ball. Let's see what we can do in his final 41 seconds. Well, it makes the scoreline slightly more respectable. It won't mask any of the disappointment, though. They performed really well today, the UAE. They push, pushed Brazil as hard as they've been pushed for a long time. As the clock ticks. Inevitable, it'll be a Brazilian victory. Brazil seven, United Arab Emirates five. As we watch step, 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 step. No movement, another step. Oh, Scott, that doesn't do anything. There we go, finally get the movement. Strike it again, Bari, brilliant save. Rodrigo, who was with the strike. Chance now for Brazil, open up that gap. Bari again. Well, two seconds left. Spit the sand out. We'll blow the hooter. Opposite number, and there we have it. Hooter sounds well, a bit like the UAE performance, it kind of died away at the end. of Hooter, as we watch that free kick once again, we well, take a lot of pride from this game. You can see the last time they played Brazil, they lost 9 1. Today, it is a lot closer. Russians in house, Russian fans, score here, I doubt not world beach games. 